Well, welcome back, my fellow double against two oxygen not included. Today we are continuing the spaced out playthrough. And I've got a couple of things that I'm really looking forward to messing around with here today. The grub grub is gonna be one of them. We're trying to ranch that guy, see what happens with that. Might possibly be a real interesting food mechanic. Hmm. And then we're going to continue expanding our humble little base here as much as possible. Food is on the menu though. We need more food so we can get more dupes. So we can get more food. Circle of life, really. And I believe we are only moments away from unlocking the auto sweeper. But you see that we ran into a problem. We do not have enough water available to us. Hmm, this right here is no longer deep enough. The, our only source of water is inside of this liquid reservoir and well, the water that comes out of our dupes, the pee water. So what I need to do is automate a little bit of a, a reservoir that we can actually get to. So we've got that. Where do I want to put it? Do I want to put it down there? Yeah, that's probably a good enough spot for it. So let's do this. We're going to make a little bit of a spot for the water to flow into. We'll make it th three wide. Oh no, I'm messing it up. The caffeine's rolling in too heavy here. I'm shaking. <laughs> we'll put this in right here with a little bit of a hydro sensor, throw in some automation right there, and make sure that we plug that in. The water is coming out. Right to that. And you know what? I don't think that needs to be too tall. We can get away with it. <laughs> oh man, do I got the power figured out. Mmm. Ooh, and a grub fruit plant we can go ahead and harvest there? Nice. I wonder if this stuff likes carbon dioxide because it's gonna get a bunch of it flowing in there. The other thing I'm hoping to have here today is finally a base that is not full of polluted oxygen. I wanna see what happens if we can actually get our dupes breathing clean oxygen. Not always con constantly running around with yucky lungs. I did unlock the fire pole, so I can go ahead and throw that in. That should allow my dupes to move around a little bit faster if I wanted them to. Always worthwhile to make your dupes move just a little bit faster. I can set some up right there, and I can also set up some more right there just to make them go fast. Let's take a look at what food the grub grub likes to eat. I think it might just be the same sulfur that I already, ha already have over here. Oh, and I didn't build it. Come on now, finish it up. Ada, your construction is so slow. Oh, they like sucrose and they like sulfur. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder if they get a different effect if they eat one or the other. Let's try to feed it sucrose and see, see what happens. I'm gonna try to wrangle this guy up there. Age 60 of 150. Wow, they live a long time. We're gonna move the little Sweetle up top here, just right there. If I wanted to, <laughs> we could put in some more slugs over here, but it seems like my strategy with the slugs is working out quite nicely at the moment. So I'm not gonna change it because it's working. All right, so in order to maintain water down here, what I'm going to set on my sludge press up here is continuous. So I'll keep bringing in more mud. We'll be then kicking out the dirt and storing up the water until the water tank is full, which it shouldn't necessarily always be full because we're actually going to be soaking up the water right down here. Hey, research complete. Yeah, now we're talking automatic dispenser, automatic sweeper, smart storage bin. Watch out, dupes. All right, so instantly, right off the bat here, while I like the storage bins and it felt nice to play classically, it is technically not at all modded or anything like that if I use the automatic dispenser and a sweep only command in order to store up everything in one single tile. That's just a really good way to go about things. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We'll build up some floor right here, just like I was doing in my last base, because boy oh boy did it work out good. And then I'll create a little pocket right down here, just like that. And we'll drop a little bit of water right down there once we get it. And a little tile here, there, and everywhere, just on each level. Which means I can deconstruct that one and that one. And build this all the way up here like that. And then what I'm going to build right here is just the automatic dispenser. So the idea is I can hit sweep on any of this stuff. We'll sweep it up. It'll be loaded in the dispenser and it'll fall down right here. That'll be where I store stuff. That way we can stop doing this stuff. Now don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of reason to have storage bins nearby. I can go ahead and just use storage bins for mud, polluted mud, and whatever else I want to have for over here. That way it's nearby, the dupes don't have to run back and forth all the time. And this is maintaining a little bit of water right down there based on its automation. Very nice, which means we always have enough water 
for our research, which we're just cranking through. All right, right over here, next up, we're gonna put a little bit of water right down there. Keep anything that we put in there from off-gassing, just to kind of keep the environment nice and clean. It's also going to be useful for bleach stone and whatnot once we get there, which is where I'm heading soon. Okay, so we put sucrose in here, and I've got a critter drop off for the grub grub. Hey bud, you look a little tussed. Turner's got you, bud. There you go. I notice they don't really carry the little bag with them when they're doing this anymore. And he's been dropped off. <laughs> oh no, you lost the rest of your body. Grub grub. What happened? Uh. <laughs> oh, there it is. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. So I think the idea here is that we give it access to some food and then it does something to the food so that we can eat from it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think I'm gonna go with. All right, hang on, egg chances. Sweetle egg, 33%. Grub grub eggs, the possibility increases when the creature tends to spindly grub plant, grub fruit plants. Okay, so having uh, these in here will apparently increase its grub grub egg thing. That's weird, but okay. Oh no. Oh no, the water is broken through. Oh, the oxalite let loose. Oh no. I think we're gonna have to wrangle you to save you. Okay, hang on. I just noticed that this grub grub did something to the plant and there it says, <laughs> grub 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 is growth speed plus 50%. Time remaining one cycle right there. Interesting. I'm not sure why that has an invalid port overlap. I'm guessing it's just overpressured or something. Gas, liquids. Hey, we got some new research. Conveyor rails, conveyor loaders, receptacles. All we need is the skills to actually build the stuff. Ooh, and a new one. Rocket solid port. Yes. All right, so what I want to have here is a nice little chute. And then we'll bring in a rail. This is where food will go. For right now, we might even be able to just do it like, ooh, that's, nope. And as you can see, we don't have the right skill. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I dropped a plug slug down here and he got free and now he's, well, he's right over there. Stuck like a true Dreco. Food is starting to become a little bit critical. Irrigation, what are you guys not doing? Dips. Oh, the pitcher pump isn't doing the pump thing. I gotcha. Get him, Turner. Nice. No, no, don't sneeze there, Turner. Don't drop him. Dips. we need irrigation. I guess technically what we need is a proper farm. So to build, oh, I don't have insulated tiles. Hmm, oh well. Well, we harvested something. I'm guessing it's just these bog buck bucket things. They're just... There's a lot of food in them. Let's see if we can research insulated tiles. Insulated tile, boom, no problem. Also build that up so I can deconstruct that tile, which means I can get rid of that, which means I can get rid of the storage bin and finally get rid of this weirdness here. There we go, dig that up and deconstruct that. Aha, there we go. That looks a little better. All right, so I'm going to set up the same sort of thing right here. Is what I'm doing there for polluted water. So the idea for this one is that it's fairly nearish by um, my farms over here so that I can kind of just quickly feed off um, the polluted water to this. But also, if I also get the... <laughs> what am I... I'm not... No, do it correctly. What I want to do is get the aquatic farm tile. That's more important. Research that. Ah, oh, wait. The Sweetles do the same thing, huh? So, what's better? The Sweetle or the Grub Grub? I don't know. Tell one of you died, I have no idea. Grub Grub. Wait a minute, ionizing bug? Ionizing nymph egg? Well, oh, ah, depleted uranium. Whoa, <laughs> uh, yep, that was distracting, you know. No, not much information on those. No idea. Currently not willing to kill any of them. Let's take a look, see just how much sulfur I have. Some, not a huge amount. Let's see if I can find more of that sulfur. I'm gonna need to dig it up. Probably get rid of like the last plant or at least the first plant here after it grows once. And then just use a storage bin to store up some of it so it's nearby. 
I'm starting to dig up right over here. This seems like it might be a really good way to go if I wanted to get into space. Which I definitely want to get into space. I want to get this rocket up and running. Hopefully before cycle 100. That would be pretty cool. It is supposedly supposed to be like all part of your mid game, getting into space, flying around your in the starship and stuff. So yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm not quite to the point of wanting to send my dupe to another location. Right now, I kind of like this. Maybe we'll kind of tackle that next episode. I think right now, I, I just want this base to be somewhat independent <laughs> before I try to manage something on two different spots. Although I would say the other location, based on what I know, it, it should be fairly easy to survive over here because it's a very traditional setup. Not saying that this is all that difficult because I mean, we've got plug slugs that are just giving us loads of power and loads and loads of Paku and all that fun stuff, but hey. Ha <laughs> ha! Productivity is reaching a new high level here. Look at them go. <laughs> I love these things. These are great. Oh, come on. You guys have got to be getting rid of yucky lungs. Look at how clean the oxygen is. I nearly have it all scrubbed clean. Nearly. Don't look at this. Please don't look at that. I think the thing is, once they're exposed to a little bit of it, yeah, right there, boom, they catch it. <sighs> so it's not about, like, the majority. You just gotta get, you gotta keep all the polluted oxygen out. If you get a little bit of it, and they find it. So this right here, hmm, that's gonna give them a debuff every time they run through there. Which is good, at least I got all this sweep-only stuff here, so. So long as we actually go and, mm, build this. Then we should be good. Oh, you know what? That's what I'm not doing. I have no electric grill running. That would be a good thing to put in right there. Mm hmm. Ha. There's polluted water. The polluted water will then flow up here into there. Boom. Which is its own little farm station. Once we actually do that, then we'll be good. And then insulated tiles will be next. Oh no, what happened to our food? It's gone. Ah, uh, um, we might have to start eating some critters here. Uh, let's go rummage through this vending machine real quick. I'm gonna look around for some plants too. 96. Okay, there we go. That, and we got a bog bucket coming fresh off the press right there. 1800. Okay, that's at least something. I'm still net negative though. It's not good. Uh, let's throw down an egg cracker quickly. In case we need to do some of that. And that and our grub fruit plants are just about ready. 0.4 cycles. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Food is a little bit of a challenge though, all of a sudden. That, and I gotta give these dupes some, some ladders to run across here. They keep splashing through there. That's not gonna be good for stress. There we go. Grub fruit plant is now available for harvesting. Excellent. Hmm, there we go. And that is worth 2,000 calories. Not bad. And if I take a look at this, ooh, ooh, there's some things that I can cook here. Swampy delights. So what I'm taking is bog jelly, and then I'm just upcycling it a little bit to get more food. Forever. So consumables, bog jelly. We'll unselect that one. Barbecue, we'll unselect meat. Because we definitely always want barbecue. We do have some nutrient bars. That's okay. Grapefruit. We do have roast grapefruit nut. Spindly grapefruit. Didn't we just get some of that? Grapefruit that failed to develop properly. Oh. Oh, okay. So it has to do with the, with the grub grubs, I think. So we might get nasty stuff if it's just kind of growing on its own. But we could get nice grapefruit. If we have the, the, the critters do their thing. Hmm. Hmm. So that kind of goes back to the whole thing that we used to have in the game a long, long time ago where the quality of the food was determined by kind of the atmosphere and stuff like that. Except for now, we're using critters. Interesting. That and I could use some oxygen. Please. Not sure why, but the other one seems to be blocked up, which means I don't have enough oxygen flowing into my base. So let's get more of that invalid port overlap. Goodbye. Icy fan, insulated tiles, excellent. And I need somebody who can cook. 
Son, you are like maxed out. I don't really want to throw you on something. Although, if you're not researching, cooking's a good alternative. Consumables, we'll get rid of the, all the low tier stuff. The stuff you'd expect, like the fillets. No, we're gonna upcycle that. Grapefruit preservative. Oh, that takes sucrose. Oh, so we take grapefruit and sucrose and to upcycle that one. Nice. So maybe the idea here is to stop feeding all my sucrose to some critter down here. Here, have some sulfur. Delicious. You love it. Oh my. <laughs> mm, do I have it? What it takes? No, I don't. Crap. Plus nine to agricultural and increased athletics. That is just almost. Mm, we're gonna. I'm gonna come back to that if I get enough oxygen and enough food in the next few cycles. So you just hang out in there, keep bouncing around inside the printing pod. Oh yeah, look at all that food, nice. What about oxygen? Do we have lots of oxygen? We do, do we have lots of filter? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to, have, to get rid of all of this coughing in my base. Now, the thing is if I sweep, I have all of this set to sweep only, I should be able to sweep it and drop it right in that one spot right there. And that should work because we are not going to store anything inside of here anymore. We're actually just gonna go like that. Oh, but it has nowhere to go. Hold up. All, 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 what storage unavailable? Oh no, is it, does it require power to be swept? My ultimate cheats, there. I can no longer cheat quite as much as I used to. Hmm, all right, well, that's something to keep in mind. I'm gonna have to spend 60 watts for each time we use that machine. Ha, that worked out. I just put a couple of ladders right there, now they don't splash around. I was gonna make that deeper, but eh, I kinda like it spaced out the way it is. 15,000 calories, it seems like we do have enough food. Do we have enough oxygen? <laughs> ah, y'all can hold your breath. Candleita, welcome to the base. Yeah, see, now that these are plugged in, they're doing their thing. Although I think they're actually using that power. Hmm. 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 I'll still get it to work. Just sweep this stuff up real quick. Yeah. See, ran out of battery. Ooh. Candelita, why are you terrified? What's going on? Afraid of dark? What? Un oh no! <laughs> I didn't notice this. <laughs> There's dupes that actually need a nightlight. And that makes sense, I did read that. All right, dupes, help me sweep this up. Party level nine. We're gonna leave these doors open too. You know what I suppose I could do? I could suppose I could hook all of these up to an automation signal, turn them all on, and then otherwise like not have them on. That might be one way just to kind of clean things up because there's gonna be a lot of debris that falls down if I keep digging up this way. And you really don't want a bunch of debris where you live. It's not good for your dupes morale. Yeah, just like that. Once the power went out, boom. You can no longer sweep that stuff up. Interesting. All right, well, let's get the bog buckets up and running. We want all of those in here. So we'll uh, move them out of here because we don't need that anymore. So I'll still use the infinite storage trick, but I think I'm going to have to use it from a shipping rail rather than actually using the automatic dispenser like I used to be able to. Slight change, same result though. All right, now what to do about Catalina? She needs a nightlight. So if I put one there, then I have illumination on at least two spots right there. And then if I do a motion sensor, then at least when my narcoleptic sleepers are around, they'll have a little nightlight. So if I cancel that, so if I do that number right there and then plug it in, and then who, I have two narcoleptic dupes. Hmm, just Catalina, she's the only one that's terrified. We'll leave that cot empty. <laughs> Everybody else is just suffocating. Nice. Eh, well, I'm trying. Try to get rid of these vampire dispensers out of here so I don't end up running out of power, which I think is really what's causing me to lose out on oxygen because we run out of power. Oh, is this a new animation from the farm station? I don't think I remember that a little bit right there. Eh, maybe, maybe not. But that bog bucket is going to start ripping. Uh, so long as the air pressure actually gets back to something decent. Ooh, it's one of those plants that requires darkness. Roast grapefruit, spindly, yes, make it. I want all the delicious food. How's the oxygen doing now? Not bad, our breathability, this is an interesting graph. Let's take a look at that. Food, food's on the increase again. Average power all over the place. 
Breathability. So it's based on where your dupes are at. <laughs> and since they're up here in the hydrogen, they don't like it at all. I feel like when they go to catch their breath after hydrogen, they should have really squeaky sounds. You know, more dupes seem to be able to travel to the same automatic dispenser now. I feel like it was used to be resisted, uh, sorry, used to be locked to one task at a time or one errand at a time, but it seems like now many dupes can go at it after at the same time. So the idea of needing multiple dispensers doesn't seem to be something that you need to worry about anymore. Ooh, refined iron. Yes, please. <laughs> hey, you're gonna need some better food. Ooh, there we go. Improved farming too. Nice. Camille, is my digging? No. Your morale is incredibly low. Camille, your stress is way too high. That's not good. We do have a massage table. We can put one of those in somewhere where it makes sense. I think I might just have to go right over here. Oh, okay, hang on. Consumables, I see some good food. Plus one to morale. Not everybody can eat. Have some good food. Try not to stress out. Whoa, what do we got here? Oh, we got a little grub grub egg. Nice. How much is the grub grub egg worth in the cracker? 1,000. Mm. All right, coming up on cycle 60 here. I was really kind of hoping to get on up here, to start to get towards space. I'm getting closer. Stress is becoming a bit of an issue. Hopefully the good food will make up for that. Although I think their sleeping condition might be holding them back a little bit. Bit too much hydrogen at the moment. I do have oxygen. It is flowing in, but it's not up here where I really need it. I mean, matter of fact, we're at like maximum gas pressure down here. So I think I might need a few airflow tiles just to let things work. There we go, massage clinic. That'll help Camille out, at least in the short term. Yeah, okay, so I just harvested one of these grub fruits up here, and I noticed that I just have a spindly grub fruit down there. So I'm guessing that's, that's where I get the bad stuff from. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so the next thing I need to research because I'm starting to have some issues with hydrogen buildup. Is I need a gas tank. So that is heating and air conditioning right there. So that way I can put a little detector and a pump right up here and just kind of suck up that hydrogen. We do have a decent amount. It's 360 grams or so in, in one spot right there. Not huge, not, we should have enough oxygen to push it out of the way once we get some decent flow, but we don't have decent flow at the moment. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up here with my gas pipe element sensor and detect hydrogen right here. So if I detect it, then I can run it, boom. Matter of fact, I could probably completely automate that even more if I drop that down just a little bit more then I don't even think I'd need a pressure sensor. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. I just dug up a little bit of ice. What am I going to do with that? Ooh, the temperature over here is kind of cool. <laughs> Camille, you're sucking down all the power over here with your, with your massage table. I'm going to have to install more batteries. China, I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> just keeps doing this over and over again. <laughs> Still with the yucky lungs. Are you serious dupes? All of them? No, hey, you don't have yucky lungs. All right, previous cycle, 399. That's more reasonable. 408, nice. All right, so I'm finally getting away from yucky lungs. You can see the days where I had 500. Yeah, all right, good. What we should be seeing here is duplicates consuming 60-ish kilograms per cycle, not 120. Where did that water come from? Dupes! Oh no, the ice melted. Gas, you're looking for hydrogen. You will find hydrogen. That's the only gas we have up here. We do have a hydrogen generator, might as well make use of that. All right, things are coming together. Starting to see oxygen make its way up here, that's good. The pressure's starting to balance a little bit more. I'm catching up to it again. We're also cooking up some good food. Now, if only we have the skills. I'm just waiting on May over here. Then I'll have a mechatronics engineer, automate a lot of the food, so we don't have to run all the way down here to grab our food. That'll help our travel time significantly. Then I could do like a recreation hall right over here, probably do some power over here on the left. Also 
anything that's going to be hot, I can do over here on the left because, yeah, it's kind of cool. So, things that I can do over here. Refinement. We can run a kiln. No problem. Run one. We can check it. We can run another. We can check it there. Leave a space for automation. Uh-oh. How did you end up down here, slug? Oh, no. You're doing the same thing, too. <laughs> drowning. Not drowning. Drowning. <laughs> Turner. Help him out. Turner. Turner. Where are you going, buddy? Come back over here. He's drowning. Right, May's got the current air. There we go. Oh, no. Things are happening here. I'm not getting the right... People are being interrupted. Somebody help the slug. Anybody? Oh, because we bumped up to 21 critters. But we weren't at 21 critters. Rip. Well, at least you're 3,200 calories. That's pretty good. You know what I'm not seeing? Polluted oxygen. Shh, don't look over here. <laughs> yuck lungs? Oh, yucky lungs. <gasps> We're finally making some progress towards space. Yay. I might actually get there by cycle 100. Maybe. That's my goal. Let's just plug that in. I should have a spot for a gas reservoir. Yeah, this seems as good a spot as any for it. And then I'll put the generator over here as well. All right, I think if I can get one more room built up, I think I'll be in good shape. I'll be able to build up just a little bit of a recreation room. That should be nice for dupes. And if I can get like a soda machine, that would be great. Let's go for the soda machine. Soda fountain. Wow, okay, that's actually kind of high-tech stuff, but whatever. We can do it. That'll give me some place to go with all of the carbon dioxide down here. <laughs> Look at this power, by the way. Look at it. <laughs> that makes me happy every time I see it. <gasps> we got more Paku. Welcome. Which way are they going to go, left or right? Oh, they're going to go right. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're going to have to call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. We definitely took a look at these little grub grubs over here, and I think that is a really good way to get some food. I like it. Fun stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you again next time. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.